I like 501st Battle Packs a lot. No, seriously. It's a problem. Now, the 501st Battle Pack has been a phenomenon, and they are still sold out everywhere. These are amazing sets. They feature four beautiful 501st Troopers, a precise and amazing looking speeder, and a bulky but still very likable ATRT build. Now, this obviously was a huge campaign, it was a big thing for the LEGO community when this was released. LEGO recently has made some custom holiday themed designs that you can custom build your 501st Battle Pack to look like. And today I'm going to be experimenting with them to, you know, see what they do to see all the little festive things LEGO has to offer. And at the end, I will be telling you how you can get your very own free 501st Battle Pack from me, as well as have the instructions for these things that I build in this video for yourself to choose and build and, you know, do whatever you want with. But with that said, it would be a ton, it would help me a ton if you subscribed. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. With that said, we'll get right on into it. A few weeks back, LEGO decided to release pictures of this custom little speeder they designed you. Check out right there. And basically, it is this weird little design, and it's the holiday theme. And I figured, you know, why don't they just build that? It looks very fun. But yeah, so with that said, I'm going to get right on into it. Before we get into how you can build your own of these uh, little mini builds, I will be telling you how you can get a free 501st Battle Pack. Along with this 501st Battle Pack, you will also be getting uh, my sponsor, One Studs, TX-130 Saber Tank, and some other pretty cool stuff. Uh, more info on that in the card in this video. And all you gotta do is either make a mock, or you can enter for the new LEGO Star Wars AAT right over here. And you will also get with this some awesome LEGO Star Wars custom decal clone trooper kits from my friend Jonak Toys, and some Cape Cantina capes. Now, again, all you have to do to enter for this one is make a video, and in the instructions in this video, I made a video about you doing something charitable, like if you're gonna donate food, just say, Hi guys, it's me, I'm donating food, uh, hashtag studbergmas2020, and like the title and everything. And you will have a really good shot at winning this. Right now, not many people have entered for the charity one, so I'm really encouraging people to try and do that one. Let's get into how to build your own. Now, these are all the pieces for a 501st Battle Pack. A healthy, growing 501st Battle Pack will need all of these in order to survive. Now, I'm going to be following the instructions. I'm going to build this in a time lapse, and then we will get into the meat and potatoes of reviewing this build that Lego has designed. Now, I figured I'd review it a little first. Um, yeah, so we'll start off. Let me just say this build is not entirely structurally sound. It's very flimsy. I don't expect too much with it, but it's not the best. Um, obviously, the instructions are all um, going to be at the end of the video, so if you want to make your own. But yeah, so first you have this little pod. It's like a little ski, and it's uh, towing these three boys. Um, the the, the um, pilot, or the jetpack trooper is always getting third wheeled he's never gets on um we need to get some inclusion for him but yeah so is getting pulled by this little toe these are what's used for to connect the arrows or the little uh, antennas on the ship but we used it this time to do it like this which is pretty neat now obviously you move to the back there are these little skis on each of them it's the same sort of build i mean it's pretty easy you'd even tell um, how to build it just from looking at this generally. I think there's one slightly interesting build technique, but other than that, not much. But yeah, you got the three boys up here. There's not even a control pad. That's fine. Um, that's the build. Obviously, the fun little one up here is this little, like, stove um, for the battle droids. Obviously, we got, like, these two droids. And had the story, and here's the, like, little build. And the story goes that they wanted to invite the clones over for, you know, some, like, holiday marshmallows because the holidays, but they burnt their marshmallows. 
So, so that was nice of them. Uh, that's, that's what the story says, at least. And then, yeah, here's a little stove. They're burning them on. Now, this is an interesting technique. They left this little thing here, which is really neat. And it's just a little stove. I mean, you know, Santa Claus or Santa clone can come down. It's, that's pretty neat. Now, the problem with this build, um, and it's a it's a pretty big problem. It, it's that they, they leave 90% of the pieces. Now, I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to design and use all these pieces for something. So that way you could, like, increase the holiday festivities with this and i'm gonna try to make a really neat build so with that said uh let's get into it here we have whatever this monstrosity is i don't even know i was like going for something but then i just ended up making an interesting build now uh, it has a lot of little features i want to say it's like some sort of like tugboat or something it's a really detailed little thing that's supposed to be an engine i i don't know Maybe we can make up a name for it, because I, I like it. Obviously, it, look, it looks kind of like a microfighter X-Wing. It's almost what it looks like. I was first, like, this topper wasn't here, and I'm like, oh, maybe we go for a little tugboat. And then, you know, you could technically lose this top half. Um, so then that, like, curves down. Uh, th this was definitely an ingenuitive build, to, to say the least. Um, but, yeah, so you'd pop that in. It's all on stud hoppers, because I kind of... Was running low on pieces. We also have all these pieces still, ironically. Uh, here it is, yes. So we have like a little uh, control panel. Obviously, you got all this nice detailing. Uh, if anyone is able to replicate what I did here, um, God bless you. Um, th this is insane. Uh, yeah, here it is. Obviously, we got like a little entrance. You got the little flaps on the bottom. We have a little stuff's going on. I I'm not really sure. Uh, it, it looks interesting. I mean, I'll, I'll give it that. I'll, I'll definitely, it, it de definitely is, uh, something. I, I just don't know what it is. Like, like, I, I, I just not comprehending it. It's kind of weird. Back to this build for a second, my personal recommendation for it would be to make this shorter because the long, um, pole just doesn't work well. And it also, like, it makes it look nicer. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing and keeping this built. I just think it's neat. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of LEGO's design of this. I can't believe I wasted a whole battle pack building this and whatever that is. I mean, it technically, it could, it could be a sleigh. That's why I put the R2-D2s there. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's just weird. I, I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, let's move into how you build this yourself. So if you like this little build, um, it's interesting, then all you got to do is I screenshot the instructions. They're on LEGO.com, but I'm going to save you that trouble. And all you got to do is just pause. I'm going to leave them up at the very end of this video. And... You can just pause, build, pause, build. It's really quite simple. It's not that difficult of a process. So I'll leave those for you. With that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell. It'll help me out a ton. I really am gunning for 8,000 subs before the end of the year. So all of your subscriptions would be much appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out and stay awesome.